making a bottle holder. I have already used my flower knitter right here to make a strap. It helps make yarns into thicker strands, which you can see right here. I used the three prong flower knitter to make a crossbody strap for my bottle holder. You can measure crossbody or you can just knit it until it makes sense or you could do a regular chain. It's completely up to you for the strap. This however is going to be with a five millimeter crochet hook and we're going to make the bottle holder itself. I'm not really going to show the strap. This is just for that because you can also tie on ribbon if you want to. We're going to make our slip knot by flipping it over, pulling it through, and that way we can tighten it onto our hook and chain three. Now this chain three is going to be the base for our magic circle. So slip stitch into the first chain and then chain three. Then we're going to crochet 13 double crochets into the magic circle and this will give us our base. So we're going to yarn over, go through the magic circle, go through the first two, through the last two, and then we're going to at least make sure that you have 13 whenever it gets to this point. It looks a little bit bulky, but please make sure that you have 13 for the count to add up for a standard bottle holder. We're going to go through two, then the last two, yarn over through the circle, pull through the first two, yarn over through the second two, and then we're going to go into the top stitch of that first chain three that's going to count as our first double crochet and then we're going to pull our circular string and we're going to tuck it in you can snip it or sew it in this is preference but it's either way it's already secured at this point then we're going to chain three again and this counts as a double crochet also and then all of them are going to be two double crochets into each spot. So there's the first two double crochets. Then we're going to yarn over. We're going to go into the next spot. We're going to yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through the second two, and then into the same spot, yarn over, pull through, yarn over the first two, and then yarn over the second two and that way we can increase and what this increase does is it helps build the width that we need for the base of the bottle holder base <laughs> which we'll build up on more of that in a minute and it is going to be 26 double crochets whenever you get to the end and again we want to make sure that we are putting two into each. If that means that you have to stop and recheck it, you'll be able to tell whenever there are two double crochets in one crochet point. Also, I'm going to take this moment to say that the audio might be a little bit different. I'm using a different microphone and also I have a cold. So I have been very congested and very coffee here lately. Um, so I apologize for that in advance, just in case. Now you'll want to make sure that it is flat sometimes it can wave in on itself um, so if you just hold it securely it makes sure that it stays flat and even and you don't have to worry about getting confused if it's all wobbly and wonky <laughs> Now we're 
we're coming up on the end of the base of our base. So we're going to finish out the last few double crochets and then we are going to slip stitch together the same way that we did the last row. We're going to also the point right before where we chained three that counts as our first double crochet. We are going to make sure we go into that as well. You see where there's a small opening which would make it not the 26 that we need it to. So we're going to double crochet in there and then close it up. Now we're going to make sure that it is the right width. A rule of hand is to make sure that it fits in the circle of your hand but you can also check it with your water bottle. This is the point where reusable water bottles you'll check to see if you need to add an extra increase or not. Then we are just going to double crochet a single into each spot. So this is the point where we'll be able to keep the 26 double crochets unless of course you need to alternate one double crochet and two double crochets to increase for a reusable, a larger reusable, not necessarily. Um, the glass bottles are the same size as standard bottles, so this would still count for that as well. We're going to connect the first chain three and the last double crochet with a slip stitch and then we're going to do something different. We're going to chain two and that is going to give us a stronger base whenever we start our netting at this point on the next go round. This is the last row of the base but we're just going to be doing double crochets into each spot throughout the rest of this circle and then we'll start our netting that's going to go up the side.
Then we're going to double crochet into the last spot and then connect that original chain two with the last double crochet and that is the last of our base. Now we can start our netting. Always make sure that your bottle fits into your bottle holder base before you continue because the netting will hold whatever shape the base is. So to do the starting of the netting, we're going to chain three. And that chain three is going to help us be able to work in the round so we won't have to slip stitch the netting. Then we're going to single crochet and anchor. And then we're going to chain five. Always make sure just for convenience that it is an odd number. That way you have that middle odd number. We're going to skip two in between, so every third is going to have an anchor. And then we're going to chain five again, and then we're going to anchor that into the third crochet from our last anchor. And that will be the pattern around the next however many it takes for your bottle. You can continue to size your bottle in there, or you can make sure it is the length of your hand because, again, it does stretch. We're going to go into that middle part for an anchor of the chain three that we did, and we're going to slip stitch that one just so that it blends in a little bit better. And then chain five, find the center point of the chain five on the previous row and single crochet into there. And we're going to continue this all the way around until we reach the length of the bottle. So chain five, single crochet into the center stitch of the chain five. That way you don't have to worry about it being uneven. Now we're going to double check to make sure that the netting is formed to the base and that way it fits onto the water bottle. Whenever it stretches up and each point catches, it's easier to see how the netting can form together and make sure everything is even before you continue up the side of the bottle because once you get higher up on the bottle, it's way harder to pull everything back out and then keep count of everything. So make sure before you get up to where we're going to stop at, up at the top, that all of them are centered just so that it looks a little bit more presentable. Whenever we get up to the top, we are going to take the bottle out or double check it onto the bottle and we're just going to chain three again and then just like we did at the bottom, we're going to double crochet around the top so that way we have a nice border and it's not just ending with netting. This also helps whenever you're putting on the shoulder strap to have a little bit extra hold. So we'll chain three, connect it to the center of the chain five. And at that point we will crochet three more and then go into the center point and that'll get us evened out with the chain five netting that we've been doing. Do 
this all the way around and that gives us a base for the double crochets because we had the base already marked out whenever we did our increase at the bottom so this is like a reverse engineering for it you gotta have somewhere to put the double crochets on there whenever they are done so instead of doing five we're just gonna do three because we did every third spot for an anchor In the beginning chain three that we did to start connecting everything, we are going to go into the base of that and then slip stitch into there. And that puts everything back together the way it was. And then we're going to stretch it a little bit, look at it, make sure we like it. And then you start with the double crochets. And then we're going to go into each point of crochet all the way around into two.